What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sino. Why, why am I moving my hands like that? What the fuck? What's up, everybody? It's me again. I'm gonna do a mukbang. When I got jumped when I was only 14, I'm like some cereal. With my Tinkerbell. <laughs> it's a muff, bro. Shout out to the vegans, though. Shit, shit. I'll be back. What happened? Look, I'm eating cereal. It's my little brother, bro. Okay. Uh -huh. Spider Man? No. What happened? I'm back again. My brother, my little brother, was calling me. So we're gonna talk about the time I got jumped when I was only like when I was in middle school. I think I was like 14 or 13. Nah, I wasn't even 14, bro, because I was in high school back then. Bro, I think I was like 12. 12 years old when I got jumped. It was in Leithrop. If for anybody that listens to Nana, you know that back then Leithrop was like one of the schools you didn't want to go, especially in middle school. You didn't want to go to that school. Everybody was afraid because that's where every uh, that's where all the gangs would recruit um, the t the teenagers and and young kids coming straight from elementary. So I was 14. It was an after school. I'm not gonna mention the crew that I used to kick it with because I don't know if it's still around because I haven't been on the hood like in a long time. So I was I was walking home with my homies and shit. After I go out again with the shit, I was walking home and you know I was taking my my route after school. I was taking my route and I was walking to the back trail, you know. It's where like people run in the mornings or in the afternoon, but back then people would use it to do like tag. I still see the young kids tagging when I'm driving around the bike trail in my truck. I, I see them tagging. Sometimes they even jump people. Still, I don't even know why they keep doing that. So I was walking from Nathrop all the way in the bike trail, and um, one of my friends supposedly supposedly that was my friend he went up to me that was my friend supposedly he was like i heard you kick it with 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 this crew and i was like yeah i do kick it with them but i don't rep that crew i'm not a, like i'm not affiliated and like i don't i don't tag i don't bang i don't do none of that shit and he was like well you kick it with them and i was like yeah i do but they're my friends because we lived in the same in the same neighborhood almost like they lived in the apartments I lived in the house. All I had to do was cross the street. And I'm going to tell you where I live because I don't know. There might be some young youngsters watching this shit. There, there might be some youngsters in that bang and shit. They're brainwashed. So my so-called homie hit me up. He went up to me and was like, so you know what happens when you get with those with those fools from that crew? I was like, no, and I don't know what happens, bro. Like, they were just my friends and... Mind you, we, we all had the same classes, and but you know you could feel the tension when when like we were in PE and stuff. You, like you could feel the tension, like they didn't like each other for what, and and they were just crews. They were not even gang. We couldn't even kick it together at lunch. There used to be. A, <laughs> it's kind of stupid right now because I'm old. There, I'm not old. I'm older. There was a. A crew that would kick it in the corner back in late throw and the only way to get in there was to get jumped by them i never got jumped so fuck that so that crew didn't like the crew i would kick it with but i was cool with both of them so i couldn't pick sides and and unfortunately when you're from the hood that's what happens like you have to pick a side you cannot be in the middle and if you're in the middle they think you're a snitch or you or you're passing down information of what's going to happen or what what they're planning to do so that's why they had to like that's why they had to jump me because they were trying to prove a point. So as I was walking to the back trail, I was like I was with my friends, you know, we were listening to our music. Back then we had MP3s, <laughs> not iPods and fucking AirPods. I feel kinda old saying that shit now. But I was walking and shit and next thing you know, I heard the other guy the guy's like, Sino, is that you? I'm like and I was like, Yeah, you know me like how we say in Spanish, being confiado, I was going towards them, 
shake their hand, you know, do our fucking hood shit, you know. And next thing, next thing you know, like, I hear this fool, hey, let's jump this fool, let's jump this fool. And I was like, what the fuck? I thought we were just like, like kidding, because they always try to do that last time. They, but they would only like grab my backpack and they wouldn't do shit. But this time they were not, they were not kidding. They were like serious. They were not like fucking around it. So next thing you know, I see my so-called homie, the one that went up to me in class after school. He was like, he he grabbed me. He like threw me to the ground and. And next thing you know, I see like five people coming at me. They started swinging, started swinging. I was like, "Fuck!" And I was like, "Like fuck!" I'm like, because like, I heard stories when people get jumped. Sometimes they bust out shanks. Shanks are knives, if you don't know that. And I was like, "Fuck!" Am I gonna get stabbed? I was like, I was fucking sweating. And like, I was like, "Damn!" I started praying in my head. I was like, "Damn, God, please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to get stabbed. I'm too young. I still need to go to high school." So like. Fuck it. And like people were jumping me Like some dude took out his folder And he started hitting me with the folder Pop, pop, pop And I was like this bro I was like fuck, fuck, fuck And then like And I was like fuck And then my other homies that I was walking with They were they were way back Because I, I walk fast I don't like like walking slow and shit So they were all the way in the back And They were like they noticed that I wasn't there, but they were here. Someone like getting scream. Oh shit! I have milk in my fucking cheek. And they're like, they're like, damn, we're seeing we're seeing that. And like, back then I didn't have, a, I didn't, I had a phone, but I couldn't text because, you know, back then they they would charge like a quarter, like twenty five cents to text. So. So they fucking my friend saw me that I was missing. So they started running because I had a homie. I'm not, I'm not gonna mention their names because I don't know if they're locked up or or they're still banging. So I don't want to get affiliated with none of them, or I don't want to get them in trouble. So my other homie, he had a he had a fucking scooter and he he ditched school that day, and he he was with us after school. He uh, he met us up right at the at the gate, and he lived around where I live. So that fool would just. We'll be with a scooter, like, around, skating around and shit. And he saw me on the ground. He was like, damn, they're jumping, see me, they're jumping, see me. And mind you, I'm fucking, I was about to cry, bro, because I couldn't take the punches no more. And when those fools came, fuck, dude, those fools started bucking it. And I was like, damn. And then, I was like, damn, my God, I just got jumped, bro. Like, I didn't have, like, luckily, I didn't have no fucking bruises on my face. So my mom didn't know I got jumped. But my whole body was fucking aching, dude. I had bruises on my back, on my on my ribs, luckily I didn't break no bones, bro, cause, oh shit, bro, that shit was, damn, that was, that one I was gonna jump, bro, if I was like, damn, so the next day I went to school, and the guy that set me up was there, cause we had a class, like, did you learn, and I was like, damn, bro, like, I can't believe you did that shit to me, like, you know I'm not a gangster, I don't even bang, and then, and then, like, after I stopped talking to that guy, I haven't seen him since then. And I don't want to see him because he set me up, bro. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I don't care about the comments, but just subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me you like my mukbangs. I know the camera's kind of whack right now, but as I grew more, my channel, I'm going to buy a camera. So, peace.